गुड इवनिंग Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yes, can I you can hear, hear you. Perfect. Telma, can you hear me? <coughs> Gilberto, can you hear me? Gilberto? Cindy, can you hear me? Yes, Cindy? Hmm. That's strange. Hello? Hi. How are you? I'm fine. You? Good, good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Adrian, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, teacher. Okay. Uh, Cindy, can you hear me? Gilberto, can you hear me? Yes, perfect. Okay. Telma, are you there? Yes. Okay. I'm here. All right, good. Cindy, can you hear me? I guess not. Okay, uh, welcome back. Did you have a good day? Yes, I did. Yes, more or less, maybe. Okay. <laughs> we fine. have to work a, a lot, so okay. I'm really tired, so but it okay. doesn't matter, so I'm yeah. ready. Sure. Someone has to do it. <laughs> yep. Um, Gilberto, how was your day? Today was busy because... Um, in my work, yeah, there are many things to do. Okay, good. Adrian, did you have a good day? Yes, I had a, a real good day. Okay, uh, fine. I had have, I have to work a lot, but it was fine. Good, good. Julia, how was your day? Mm, I had a good day. I had some meetings and I worked. Okay, do you have meetings every day? Excuse me, I didn't listen. Do you have meetings every day? Uh, I have two meetings in oh. the day. Okay, fine. Evelyn, welcome back. <laughs> Hi, good evening. Okay, so welcome everybody, Jose. Marcelo, Lourdes, Delma, Adrian, Julia, Evelyn, Cindy, Mr. Samson, it doesn't appear the name. Name doesn't appear. Okay, anyways, uh, let's begin. Uh, do you remember the topics we discussed yesterday? Yes, we we was discussing about the gerunds and the infinitives. Gerunds and, and infinitives. Yes, and the way we can interchange. Both. Okay, okay, good, good, very good. So, what is the main characteristic about gerunds? They end in i and g. Okay, they oh, right. end in ing. The, 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 the yeah. verb of use is uh -huh, ing. Ing, right. Ing, so, yeah. So when we talk about gerunds, that's exactly what we are referring to. We're talking about uh, um, the ing form. 
Now remember that the ING form is used in different circumstances, different scenarios. So it's not exclusive to what we are using right now uh, with these topics. What about the infinitive? What's the infinitive? Do, do use two with the base form. You use, use two, uh-huh. Okay, and what is the name of two? T-O, what's the name of that small Prep word? Preposition. It's a preposition, yes. And yesterday also we mentioned that uh, the preposition that you use in the verb will change the meaning of what you're trying to say. So we gotta have a clear idea of um, which preposition we're using so we send the correct message, right? Okay, um, do you have any questions about yesterday? No? No, I have. Okay, no questions? Teacher, I try to, I try to make a, uh, I try to make the test, uh -huh. but, but well, I try and I try and I try and every, 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 the answer was wrong. Really? So I don't know if I, um, yeah. some problem in the Me platform. Too. So I, same problem. <laughs> okay. Yes, who can, problem who can remind us uh, what we said about the platform yesterday? So you guys don't worry. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, but teacher, we need a score to pass the level. Yeah, it's true. But like I said, um, the administrator of the platform, he is aware that sometimes it gives us problems. You give the right answer, but the platform tells you that the answer is wrong. So they know. So don't worry. Uh, don't worry about it and they will fix the situation uh, when the time comes. So, so far, uh, we monitor um, the people that are present in the conference and also the platform registers when you enter and you try to do work. So even if, you're, even if the platform tells you that the answers are not good, don't worry about mm -hmm. it. It's just like it registers all your work and we are aware that sometimes it gives you the wrong answer, even if the answer is good. Mm, okay. okay. Yeah, so don't worry. Don't worry. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Uh, any other questions or comments that you have um, regarding the platform or yesterday's class? Oh, uh, I have a question. Yes, sir. Uh, how how can uh, how do you uh, register the attendance? It is automatic with our sign signing in the in the in the tool in the software or okay. Uh, what we do? Manual. No, no. Like right now, I have exactly ten people in the conference. This uh, session is being recorded. So this is the evidence of the people that were present today. You see what I mean? So we yeah. have Gilberto, Adrian, mm -hmm. Marcelo, Lourdes, Evelyn, Julia, Jose, Robert, and Telma. Okay. So uh, the recording of this session is your attendance. Oh, okay. okay. So, so that means, it. let's say we have Carlos Rodriguez in the group. But Carlos Rodriguez is not connected today. When they check the video, they will see that Carlos was absent. And that's how they monitor your attendance. Okay. Right, so you automatically uh, are present. Okay, mm. thank you. All right, good. Okay, anything else be before we go with the first topic? No. Okay. So let's go here. You see this here. Okay. How um, can you see the word document? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, what's the name of the of the topic? 
A, a part, part of, of the speech. speech, American grammar. Okay, a parts of speech. This is very important. I mean, today's topic is reported speech. That is something that you will see in the platform. But before we go to reported speech, we need to have a very clear idea of, of what we're talking about when we talk about grammar. Now, we have, uh, how many parts does grammar have? Anybody? Eight parts. Eight parts. If we're talking about the American version, we have eight parts. We have verbs, nouns, adjectives, pronouns, adverbs, conjunctions, interjections, prepositions, and British grammar, they have nine parts because they include uh, the article the. Now, what is a verb? It's an action. It's an action. It's an action, very good. What the is a noun? Action. What is a noun? The receiver. Oh, the... Yes. It is the, the object who, who made the Subject. action. Okay, can you give me a synonym for the word noun? Or, or examples? Is who make the the verb or who, who make the action is who uh -huh, who makes uh, the action sorry but i think you, when you say that you're talking about pronouns nouns oh, are yeah. different i think uh, it's a, a yeah. person a, a an animal uh, an object, an object. Yeah. exactly a an noun object. is an object or a person or animal <laughs> So that is a noun. Now, can you give me examples of verbs? Watch, sing, run, play, talk. Okay, we have verbs. Interrupt. Speak, play, play, participate. Good, very good. So those are verbs. We have regulars and we have irregulars. Um, yes. I hear some noise in the background. Hold on. Yeah. All right. Um, so yesterday we said that we have verbs, we have regulars, and we have irregulars. Which one is easier to use? Regular. Irregular. Okay, so regulars. Why regulars? Okay, so uh, we use regulars and people think that regulars are easier because you only put ED when you want to use them in past tense, right? Yeah. I, I still hear noise. Yeah. But I, I, who, who has children with you right now? Uh, teacher, I have a problem with my internet. I don't know what happened. No, but your internet is good. No, but someone too. I saw the WhatsApp message. And and say the same thing. In the chat. Yep. Let's see. Uh, it's like a, a connect and disconnect for me, right? In my case. Okay, let's see. 89. Okay, can hear you. Good night. Hello. I have problems with my internet. Okay. Okay. I think that we solved the problem with, with the noise. Okay, so uh, we have verbs. You guys said uh, play, sing, cook, whatever. We have nouns. When we talk about nouns, we're talking about people, objects, or animals. Adjectives. Uh, do you remember adjectives? 
characteristics about the noun. Very good. When we talk about adjectives, we're talking about characteristics. Very good. What about pronouns? Anybody? People? Uh, the nouns, the the nouns, 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 the the nouns, 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 Okay, pronouns are, they have different categories. You have personal pronouns, yeah. you have object pronouns, you have possessive pronouns. So yeah. pronouns come in different forms. Now, what is an adjective? <laughs> well, an adjective is you. The, it's something that... Um, Okay, so, so 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 what is an adverb? An adverb, okay, this can be, well. Yes, Robert. This is usually, Anybody? well, there's different type of adverbs. This is yes. sometimes easy to express uh, most likely the moment or the way that something is being done. Good. So you can say my Modify the verb. Right, it modifies the verb. You can say, my sister is driving slowly. Slowly is an adverb and it's modifying the verb. So you say, my sister is driving slowly. So adverbs, they come in different forms too. Adverbs of frequency, adverbs of time, adverbs of manner, they come in different forms. What about a conjunction? What is a conjunction? It's used to, to join two words. Okay. Can you give me examples of conjunctions? For example, uh, and, or. Good. Very good. What's an interjection, class? What's an interjection? They are exclamation, exclamations. Okay. And what's the function of this exclamation? Like surprise, emotions. Okay. Uh, so, feeling. yes, interjections, they express emotions, feelings. Uh, can you give me examples of interjections? Anybody? When we say, for example, wow. Hey, um, Jack, or mm, huh, something like this. Okay, so when you say wow, that's an interjection, and it represents what? Surprise. What does, no. surprise. 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 What if I say ouch? Pain. 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 Uh -huh. So. Ouch is an example of an interjection, like you guys were saying. You use an interjection to express uh, feelings, emotions. Now, what's a preposition? Under, on, in. Okay, okay. fine. So there we have... Between. Between, behind, above, under. Beside, in front of, in, next on, to. At, uh -huh. Okay, so here we have the eight parts of speech that we have in American grammar. If we compare American grammar with British, the British, they have nine because they include this one here. What's the name of this? The the article. What article? <laughs> okay, 
right, let me do this. It doesn't get it. Okay, anyways. Okay, so uh, are we clear with this? Are we clear with this? Yes, we're clear. Okay, fine. So remember, we have eight parts of speech. If you're talking about British grammar, they have nine because they include this one here. And I, and I told you guys before that I completely agree more with the British version because this one here makes a difference when you are talking, right? So the name definite article is literal. You're going to use it only when you're being very specific about something, right? So if I say, do you have money? What's the answer? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. What if I say, do you have the money? Is it the same? I don't have it. Okay, so if I say, do you have money? Is it the same if I say, do you have the money? No. 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 Yeah. Not what's really. The, what, what's the difference in, 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 in each uh, question? The yeah, difference is the, the, the terminator. Or Which is one? The money is the terminator, a specific money. Okay, determined. More specific. Okay, determined. yes. So when you say, do you have money? That's very general. <laughs> you say, no, I don't have money. I get paid on the end of the month. <laughs> now, if I say, do you have the money? Okay, uh, who has children in the, in the conference? Who has children in the conference? Because uh, I'm trying to mute, but it, it doesn't work. Now, when you say, do you have the money? When you say, do you have the money? You're talking about one money in particular. So the message is completely different. So are we clear on that? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, so let, let me show you this other one. And that's today's topic. Do you see it? Mm, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, that's reported speech. This is the topic you guys will see in the platform. As you can see here, basically what we do, we're making a combination of different tenses when you are reporting information or when you are saying something that someone else said. Now, how many tenses do we have? Twelve. We have 12 tenses. Every tense has a different function and every tense has a different structure. Are we okay there? Yeah. Okay, 12 tenses. Every tense okay. has a different function. Every tense has a different um, structure. So I'm going to make groups before I give you guys the explanation of how this works. Um, I want you to discuss what the function of the simple present is, what the structure, the same with the simple past, present continuous, past continuous. So I'm going to leave you talking. I already sent this image to the chat. I'm going to make the groups right now and um, you guys discuss this. I have 12 people, I'm going to make four groups of three. Here we go. Let's talk. Okay, Gilberto, Adrian, and Rick. Okay. Okay, so what are the differences between the simple present and the simple past? Simple present is um, actual. And simple past is an action in the past. 
Okay, someone else? Adrian, Ricardo? Mm. Do you agree with Gilberto? I, 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 I yeah, think but, uh, uh, you, you have to use, uh, for example, uh, the verb to be in, in, in her present uh, form and the past form. Okay. I think simple present is a continue, continuous time and simple passing is in a determinated uh, time, just in, in past time. Okay, fine. So the simple present, we use it to give um, general information. Not right now, but general. And when do we use the simple past? Anybody? Um, when the uh, event is uh, in, in the past uh, form, in the past way, let me try to do. Okay, simple this. present, we said that it's general. Simple past is finished. Like Ricardo was saying, it's terminated. It's finalized. Yeah. Now, what are the auxiliaries that I use with the simple present? Auxiliary, simple present, do and as. What about simple past? Did. Okay. What happens to the verb when I use the auxiliary did? Did, um, the verb is in the base form or the? Uh, the present. Yeah. Base form, base form. Okay. Base form. Base form. Yes, because when you say present, that can create a little bit of confusion and think that you're talking about the tense. So it's better if you okay. say, okay, you use the auxiliary did, the verb stays base form. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so discuss the second part. I'll be seeing you in a minute. Okay, excellent. This is a, um, a hard topic for me. It's Why? a little bit confused. Supported speech. <laughs> Maribel. Hi. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Were you on vacation? <laughs> no. Or were you swimming with the rain? What? Repeat were you me? were you swimming with the rain? No. No, I weren't. No, I wasn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Welcome back. All right, Maribel, Evelyn, and Marcelo. Uh, what can you say about the first one? Or, or which one are you discussing right now? The first one. The, the, the first, first one. one. <laughs> okay, so what is the function of the simple present? Anybody? Describe an action that occurs in the present every day, every uh, that. Repeat the, the action every every week, every month, and repeat, repeat. Very good. Mm -hmm. Simple, Simple present, we're talking about general. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So not now, but general. What about the simple past? Action in past. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when we say simple past, we're talking about something that is finished. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, what, what about the second one? Present continuous and past continuous. Hey, the present continuous is an action that is happening in that moment. <laughs> okay. And past continuous? It's almost the same, but it's an action in past. <laughs> 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 So, you, so you just, it's the same function, but in a different tense. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So if I say, what were you doing yesterday at this time? What would be your answer? I, I don't know. <laughs> I was watching I was, TV. I was, I, was the, I was in the conference with you. Okay, good, mm -hmm. good. So present continuous, like Evelyn says, you're talking about an action in progress. 
past continuous is an action in progress in a particular time in the past. Mm. Right? Then but we have, the, the, the activity is finished or no? Yeah, it, it's already finished. It's already finished. Uh, so you okay. can say that um, in the year 2010, I was studying at the university. 2010 is okay. history. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. What about present perfect and past perfect? Present perfect is an action that uh, I am doing right now, but I but it's continuing in the future, or maybe that it's not finished. Okay. Good. What do you think, Maribel? Present perfect, Marcelo, Evelyn. I mean, perfect means that uh, something that occurred in the past and continue in the present. Okay, so present perfect, something that you start in the past, but you're still doing it now. Still doing now. Okay, let me give you an example. What time did you connect to the conference? Me? Uh, anybody. Uh, <laughs> eight o'clock. <laughs> eight o'clock. Exactly. Okay, eight o'clock is history because it's already 8.30. Mm -hmm. So you use present perfect and you say, it. I have been in the conference for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Eight o'clock is history, but you're still doing it. So mm -hmm. present perfect is an action that is not finished. Okay. Okay, I'll come back to you. Okay. Okay. Like the past perfect is uh, like I had, yo estaba, past perfect. Start in the past, but continue in the present. For example, I had worked for Art. two years in this company, for, for example. Uh, start in the past, but continue right now uh, uh, for the present, the, the past, present. So we, present which perfect. one is that? Which one is that? Present perfect. Uh, maybe present perfect. For example, I don't know, already, yet, maybe. Yes, you use you use those words to make the tense more complete. Uh, so, what would be your concept about present perfect? The present for the perfect. Uh, I understand that the the action started in the past, and now uh, the action continue. Okay, good, good. I'll come back to you guys. Okay. Keep to has been is in past no it's continuous it's uh, I have been working yes, 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 yes. okay right now teacher was online uh-huh hello teacher Hi. yes sir about the the let me review about the Where? the past perfect continue. Uh huh. An example can be that you have been when you are talking about past continue, past perfect continue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But present perfect continue. If, for example, like Julia say, I I have I have no, I have working. 
I have been working. You have been working. Uh huh. So, for example, let me give you an example. I said, uh, "Be this, you look very tired." And you said, "You know what, Francisco? I have been working fifteen hours a day. I have been working fifteen hours a day." So that is present perfect continuous. I mean, come. Okay, so do, 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 is that clear, be this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Hello? Okay, what oh, about the other? Yeah, yeah. 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 Bing. What is it? We what, what? always use Bing. Yes, when, when you Bing. Use it, yes, when you're using the present perfect continuous, it's necessary that you include uh, the past participle form of be, which is being. Or, or you can use thing. No. Pin. Only, pin. Only thing. Yes. Okay. In the past, I was only saying uh, how to Okay, can, can you hear me? I now get. Okay, Cindy, can you hear me? Okay. Okay, so, so which one are you doing right now? We were in some examples about all of them. Uh, which the, example? The verb. We talk about simple questions, question, but we don't remember when to do good. Okay, hold on. Teacher. Yes. I'm sorry, but I have to sign out. Okay. Because I, I have to be on duty in 15 minutes, so I have to work. Don't worry, Vides. Don't worry. But I will be I will be on time tomorrow, eh? No problem. Have a Thank good you. night. Have a good night. Nice. Same right. for you, all of you guys. Thank right. you. Thank Bye. you, Vides. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Hey, hello. I think he were the can you hear me? Okay, yes, we can hear you. Uh, I don't remember right. when we use wood. Wood? Yes, only in question. Uh, no, you can use it in different oh. forms. In a sentence, when I did it. Okay, um, hold on, that I'm, I'm having issues here. <sighs> hold on. <laughs> okay, okay, can everybody hear me? Yes. Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Yes. All right, very good. I can hear you. Okay, um, what was your question again? Would? Who, who yes. was asking me about would? I. Julia, what was your question, Julia? I'm sorry. When we use would. Okay. We only use the question or an example in a sentence? No, uh, you can use would 
with positives, negatives, and questions. Now here, the way we're going to see it right now, it's in a function as a model. And okay. let me start by explaining this. Uh, can somebody explain what reported speech is? Volunteer. Uh, is to say something that another person says. <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. Very good. This is this is the grammatical <laughs> rule when someone tells you something and then you will give information to another person, you're supposed to apply this. So for example, if someone tells you something in the simple present, when you tell this information to another person, you're supposed to say in the past. In past. For example, what if I said, I have three brothers. I have three brothers. And then someone tells you, what did Francisco say? Francisco he says, said he had that he, he had, he had three, three brothers. He had three, three brothers. brothers. He had three brothers. Now, imagine that I'm in Mexico. I'm on vacation, and I said, I'm having the best time of my life. And then when you finish the call, you tell your brother, and you say, Francisco said, what? That he was, he was having. He was having. Exactly. So my original sentence says, well, I'm having the best, of, uh, I'm having the time of my life in Mexico. When you tell another person, you will say, Francisco says, he was having the best time of his life in Mexico. We do exactly the same thing with present perfect and past perfect. So, how do you say no es en al? I, Using present perfect. Present perfect. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't, haven't taken the dinner I haven't already. Taken the dinner. I have okay. already. Already. Okay, haven't. so you can say, I haven't taken, I haven't eaten, I haven't had. The three options are good. So I said, um, I haven't had dinner yet. How do you transfer that information when you tell someone else? Francisco said. Francisco said, said he hadn't. Hadn't had. Hadn't. Hadn't had. Hadn't had, hadn't had, hadn't had dinner. Had. Very good, very good. So Francisco said he hadn't had, he hadn't eaten, he hadn't taken dinner yet, right? Mm. So, uh, any questions so far? No, sounds no. a little way, but, but that's the rule. Right, had had right. And, and, and let me explain the following. Um, you are in this course because you want to improve the language. And there are gonna be times when you're gonna be writing reports, especially about incidents, events, emergencies, you have to make reports. Grammatically speaking, you're supposed to be following this. So let me give you another example. Um, ask me about my plans for vacation, anybody. What will you do in your vacation? Well, on my vacation, I will stay home. Now, how do you transfer that information to another person? Uh, Francisco said uh, uh, he will stay at home on his vacation. Exactly. Very, very simple. Francisco said he would stay at home for his vacation. Remember, vacation. you say vacation, not vacation. It's vacation. 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 Now, we go to past perfect. Uh, what is the past perfect? What's the auxiliary we use with the past perfect? Yeah. Uh, have, must, uh, plus. Uh, 
past participle. Past participle. Very good. Mm -hmm. So you use auxiliary uh, had and you use the past participle, right? So how do you yeah. say no te había visto? I had seen you. I hadn't seen you right. for last three years. Okay. 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 So I say, look, I hadn't, I hadn't seen, seen you in, in ten months. Now, how do you transfer that information to another person? Francisco said. Uh huh. Francisco said. He hadn't, he hadn't seen, seen me. him. Exactly. Yeah. So what did Francisco he said, say? Oh, nothing special. He just said that he hadn't seen me. So from past perfect, you stay in the past perfect. Nothing changes. Mm -hmm. Well, what about present perfect continuous? Can you give me an example of present perfect continuous? I have been uh, working. I want to talk. I can't hear right now. Okay, anybody? Perfect like continuous is the girl has been working hard. Okay, so Karen has been working hard. Very good. Now, what I've, been is working, I've been working at Regal for about oh, since 19, uh, 1991. Very good, very good. Is that true since 1991? No, no. <laughs> Just an example. No. <laughs> uh -huh. okay, so but it's easier. <laughs> now, how do you say durar in English? Why that? Durar. Not last. Last. Durar. During? Last. During. Last. 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 Like the same word you used to say ultimo, you use exactly the same word to say durar. Mm. Um, and, and I believed you when you said 1991 because some people, they last years in a company. They last years. Mm -hmm. Right? So present perfect continues. Mm. So I can say that I have been speaking in the conference since eight o'clock. How do you transfer that information to, to past perfect continuous? Francisco says that he had hadn't uh, yeah. hadn't he has whatever. Been, he has been talking. He has been mm -hmm. talking. Been talking. Okay. So once again I said look. I have been talking, or I've been talking since eight o'clock. What did Francisco said? He said he had been talking uh, since eight o'clock. So from the person perfect continuous, you go to the past perfect continuous. And then we have the last one. Simple past, past perfect. <laughs> So I say, oh, I ate too much. I ate too much. I ate two hamburgers. That's the simple past. I ate too much. How do you transfer that information to the past perfect? Francisco said he had eaten too much. Eaten. Okay. He had eaten too much. He, didn't now, too much. he had eaten too much. Now, remember this. At this level, you should be familiar with the 12 tenses. Why? Because when you're, when you're having a conversation in English, the same way you make a combination of different tenses in Spanish without thinking, you use the same thing in English. You get that? Okay, I got yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So that's the idea. When you're using the language, be spontaneous and use the language naturally. And what is naturally? Using the 12 tenses at the same time without thinking. Right? Now, let me explain this. When you're writing a report about an incident, an event, or anything, 
that you might be doing at work, if the original sentence, the, the original information that you received is with the simple present, when you put that information on paper, you have to use the simple past. If the original information was in the present continuous, you have to transfer to the past continuous, and so on, and so on, and so on. Mm -hmm. How do you say demandar in English? To demand? Not exactly. When I say demandar, I'm talking about legal action. Demand. Do you no, I don't see you. I don't remember that word is. You see the chat? You see the chat? Two. Uh, Sue. 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 So, how do you say, voy a demandar a la compañía? I'm going to sue the company. Okay. So, I said, you're speaking with another Donna person, too. and the person says, look, I will sue your company. When you write the report, you said, Jaime said that he would sue the company. I will sue the company. So if Jaime, if Jaime said will, mm -hmm. when you're writing yeah. the report, you're supposed to say would. Mm -hmm. So Jaime said he will sue the company. Past perfect, mm -hmm. you stay with the past perfect. If you're using present perfect continuous, you do past perfect continuous. And then from the simple past, you go to past perfect. Do we have any questions there? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Ask me. And um, hello. Hi. Good night. Good I'm sorry. Uh, I would like that uh, you share us maybe some tips to practice. Uh, okay. The present perfect continuous and past perfect continuous because I think it to me is difficult and I don't I don't know if to my classmate too. Okay, very good. Now let me ask you this uh, to the whole group. We okay. have twelve tenses. We have twelve tenses. Okay. Tenses are easier than others, right? Yes. Right. Why is that? Why is that? Because that some tenses are we are we are familiar with that tenses. Exactly. It's very simple because some tenses have more demand than others. Mm -hmm. Can you mention the tenses we use every day? Um, I use simple present, present continuous, simple present, simple past, and will and will. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes present perfect. Now remember that will and would, those are not tenses. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Um, so when we talk about tenses, we're talking about uh, um, the structures that we use every day. And like you guys were saying, simple present, simple past, you use it all the time. Present continuous, past continuous. Present perfect, past perfect. Now, let me ask you this. How do you say, en ocho minutos habremos terminado la sesión? In eight minutes, eight minutes. We, we, we are going to finish the session or the meeting. Okay, do I, something. I, go to the we, chat. Listen. We will have. Okay, go finished. to the chat. Go to the chat and write your sentence. En ocho minutos habremos terminado la sesión. Write your sentence in the chat. Go ahead. Okay, okay. And remember, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Making mistakes is fine. En ocho minutos habremos terminado la sesión. Write your sentence. People. Mm, hello. Okay. okay, we would finish the session. Okay, we will have ended the class. Okay, we were finished. Uh huh. We have finished. Uh huh. We will finish. We will have finished. Okay. What about the others? 
They are putting attention. <laughs> I think so. Uh huh. So look at Adrian's sentence. Let's use the last one. And I saw like three other people writing exactly the same thing. In eight okay. minutes, we will have finished the class. This structure is correct. Will we we will finish? No. We will have finished the session. We will have finished the session. Now, mm -hmm. the reason, the reason why sometimes we're not too familiar with this tense is because we don't use it much. Yes. Now, yes. if I ask you, tell me about the simple past, everybody would answer. Simple present, everybody would answer. Now. Let me ask you this. What's the name of this tense? We will have finished the session. What's the name of this future tense? Perfect. Future, that perfect. Is, that future is, perfect. That is future perfect. future perfect. That is future perfect. Now, how do you say, en dos años habré estado ahorrando Mil dólares. <laughs> In two years, In two years I, I will, will have, have a will save have uh, one thousand dollars. We'll have, uh, we'll have saving. We have saving. We have saving. We, 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 I <laughs> will have been saving. Yes. No. We, we mm. had. We'll have we been save. saving. Saving. I teacher, I'm confused. I will have been saving. What's the yes. name of this tense? Future continuous. Continuous. Future Perfect continuous. Future continuous. Future continuous. Mm. Perfect future continuous. Aha. Uh -huh. Future perfect, perfect continuous. continuous. Future, future perfect, perfect continuous. continuous. Yes. Um, so, uh, like I said, our goal is that when you're using the language, you make a combination of the 12 tenses naturally. And the 12 tenses, they play an important role when we talk about uh, topics like this, reported speech. So, obviously, we need more than one session to explain this. So tomorrow, when we continue with the class, we're going to be our first topic. Okay, Guys, perfect. All right, thank, so I'm going to let you go right now. Have a good night. Thank you for making the space. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Good night, day, day, day. Day. I, hope, I hope so, teacher, because right. today I have problems with the connection. Okay, it's don't okay. worry. I have problems with my connection, too. Right? And with the microphone, too, but... Today I learned how to connect. Very good. All right. So have a good night, everybody. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Bye.